How can you stay away from Wall Street? Well, if I were on Wall Street, I'd probably be a, a, a lot poorer. At, uh, uh, you get overstimulated in Wall Street, and uh, uh, you hear lots of things, and and you, you may you may shorten your focus, and a short focus uh, is not conducive to uh, to long profits. And uh, here, I can just focus on what businesses are worth, and I don't need to be uh, in Washington to figure out what the Washington Post. Uh, newspaper is worth, and I don't need to be in New York to figure out what uh, some other company is worth. It's it's, a, it's simply it's an intellectual process, well, and, uh, and the less the less static there is in that intellectual process, really the better off you are. What is the intellectual process? The intellectual process is is defining your level, uh, defining your area of competence in valuing businesses, and then within that area of competence finding whatever sells at the, at, at the cheapest price in relation to value. And there are all kinds of things I'm not competent to value. But there are a few that I am competent to value. <laughs> Nobody goes out and buys a car without doing your research on what car you want to drive, why would you give away a portion of your paycheck every month to somebody who is simply going to invest it in what he says is the right thing to invest in without you taking the time to research at all what he's putting your money towards? I think one of the most eye-opening aspects for me and what rulers discover is that the entire finance industry is built around what is called modern portfolio theory and this notion that you on your own can't do this yourself. Nobody ever teaches in high school or college a class on Warren Buffett investing and the whole time Warren Buffett every year is telling us that the way that he invests is the simplest form of investing and it also just coincide, coincidentally has beaten the market for the past 50, 60 years. And so the notion that you can't do this yourself is more predicated on the finance industry itself wanting to remain relevant in people's lives and turn profit. If you give your money over to a financial advisor, you just solidified that person's career. His best interest is not in you making a lot of money. His best interest is in making himself a lot of money and doing average and not taking risks or not doing anything that's going to upset you as an investor. It's really the only part of a person's life where you just blindly give your money away and assume the person you give that money to is going to do the best job for you. You don't want anything to do with the evil of money management. You don't want anything to do with it. If you're in your 20s or your 30s and you're wondering how do you start going down this path of learning to invest on your own. Maybe you don't even have any money to start with. That's perfect. You're in the best position in your life to start learning these things. Because first off, you have lots of time and time is your advantage. Being a 20 year old gives you 20, 30, 40 years of time to really master these concepts that don't take 30 years to master. You can pick them up relatively fast. And as you start investing in one of our companies, you allow what is coined by Warren Buffett as being the eighth wonder of the world, which is compounded interest. Take this from me. I read Phil's book when I was 17 years old in high school. And one, I, you can't believe the amount of people that are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s that come to me and say, wow, I wish that I would have started when, when you started investing. But the second thing is it has allowed me at a very young age to start what is known as compounding interest. And so you find one company and maybe you only have $1,000 to invest, but if it's a great company that follows these rule and principles, maybe you just don't do anything for 30 years and that company goes from taking your $1,000 to 50 or $100,000. And all you have to do along that 30 year period is find the next company that you can put the next thousand dollars into and the next thousand dollars. And as you start going through your career, maybe you start putting $5,000 into a company. It doesn't take a lot. If you find 10 to 20 wonderful companies on sale and just hang on to them for the rest of your life, you will make money. And that is the rule one way.